Hey, good morning. This is Daniel uh, coming from the farm, East West Farm. And so I'm over here checking in on Gertie. Uh, for those of you who've been following us on Facebook, um, I don't know if I posted any of this to Instagram, but uh, so Gertie um, narrowly escaped death. Uh, large part my my fault and it was because we had not secured our bull and um, she got bred very young so she was close to full term um, she got injured she um, was found out in the mud by my wife while I was away at work um, I had to come home we couldn't get her up on her feet so we moved her um, out of the weather and I then paid a visit up to the uh, vet clinic and got some steroid and they did warn me that if she's pregnant that it would cause her to abort um, so Basically, we we're taking taking risks, taking gambles, um, with you know the hopes that we're going to save her. So, a couple, couple of days later, she actually goes into labor, and she uh, well, that calf was too big. So, let's see. So, anyways, long story short, though, calf did not survive, but she's still here with us. And so, um, so I just wanted y'all to be able to see that she's okay. And, oh, hey, here's David to feed the calf. It's all right, Dave. You can. So, um, Anyway, so I was just going to give a further update. Um, we've decided that we have to really reevaluate um, how we're doing things here on the farm. Um, namely, with the dairy aspect, uh, grass fed dairy um, is heavily dependent on good genetics. Uh, for grazing. Um, dairy cows as a whole have been uh, mutated into uh, grain processing machines rather than being able to process grass uh, efficiently. So, so anyway, so we're selling off most of our cows. We're going to keep uh, two plus this uh, heifer calf here um, and then we're going to focus on acquiring the proper the, the best genetics that we can um, so that we can do uh, continue to do purely grass-fed milk and cheese and everything else that goes with it um, we're also uh, in acting a farm share program um, for us to front all the cost to buy um, several tons of organic feed and pay for uh, chicks and piglets um, it's namely the feed that is the most expensive uh, but uh, frankly it's not economically um, viable for us so uh, the farm share program works like this where uh, you pay in and uh, and then we basically custom grow uh, meat for you so um, to get more information on that you should visit our website it's uh, Dave I got it you can leave it hanging cows not going anywhere um, go to our website, eastwestfarm.com. Um, you can also visit us on Facebook and Instagram um, and uh, keep tabs on us. All right, so 
Uh, thank you very much, and y'all have a great day.